Hello and welcome everyone to episode number 58 at the Indie Football Podcast and today I must say that we have a very unique personality with us I mean if it was for the bubbling enthusiasm and fervent passion of Kamal bhai in the last episode we have got someone who is from SRM IST in Chennai and of course welcome Zishan bhai we are thrilled to have you here with us and I can assure you that no one else in our 58 episode history has been taking sessions on blockchain so while of course i will ask you more on this later on how are you feeling in general tonight so like uh, coming on a podcast is like it's a very it's a dream for every football fan in a way yeah. uh, so that's like that's pretty great and obviously this is this is a like a dream come true for me so thank you for having me uh anugar sir i was just and as as we discussed before go- going uh, recording this segment you know i was just scrolling through our whatsapp group the one where the three of us are there and i spotted that this group was made back in march where we were trying yeah. to take up dates from zishan bhai and even we were busy since then and we just had this long period of in inactivity and now we are finally getting it done i mean anugar sir for everyone who probably does not know i have I, not mentioned it enough but it's anukar sir who has who you know does all the extra hard work for getting speakers speaking to them initiating conversations making the whatsapp groups and i am just doing the pretty easy jobs here so i'm sure anukar sir for you it is special when long due episodes are finally completed so of course this episode holds a special place in our heart right absolutely man i mean with uh, zishan bhai we have been wanting to have an episode for quite some time and uh, there has been something or the other coming <laughs> up on this side but it's great to have this episode and uh, i think it's the longest i ever waited for a united fan to come on our podcast <laughs> and uh, jokes apart it's great having you zishan bhai i think uh, the good part is that uh, of the last 2 3 months we have got to know about you and your life and you know the events that go around following you on linkedin and all and uh, what we have uh, like uh, seen is that you know while there have been schedules your enthusiasm for football has always been there you have been very active and you know liking uh, things on the uh, instagram page and all and thank you for coming in on the uh, in the football podcast it is a pleasure having you and uh, tell us a bit about uh, tell us a bit about your whole uh, uh, the how you uh, in like you know you being in the blockchain industry uh, tell us a bit about it how you were about doing it what exactly it is just a brief intro for the you readers so first of all uh, thank you everyone i'm sishan uh, i am currently like just now went into my third year third year csc at sar uh, so like for the past Like for the past, I guess from the this from December itself, many uh, like I've been involved in the blockchain industry. In the area that I'm in, it's more uh, it's more towards the community side, wherein you have to take sessions, workshops, or seminars uh, for for a particular company. Currently, like I am associated with a blockchain uh, automation infrastructure company called Zeev, and उनके लिए I have like. Uncle, I have like conducted meetups so at Lucknow and one in Chennai as well. Uske alawa, abhi recently I got uh, two internships. One at Prosher, which is a decentralized factory social media platform, and another one is Coi Network, which is another block, which is a company and not a startup. So, like uh, in these two companies, I work as a community in- intern, wherein my job is to you know. बेसिकली द बेसिक तरीके से बता रहा हूँ तो कम्युनिटी से इंटरेक्ट करना क्या कहते हैं कम्युनिटी से इंटरेक्ट करना गेट ऑन गेट ऑन पार्टनरशिप्स टॉक टू पीपल सो या लाइक दैट्स द पार्ट वेयर आई एम इन्वॉल्व इन दी ब्लॉकचेन इंडस्ट्री एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई रन अ ब्लॉकचेन क्लब इन माई कॉलेज सो नाइस मीन वन थिंग दैट आई लाइक टू आस्क इज For someone who does not know anything about blockchain, Zishan, boy, us, us, usko ya unko ap ap like kya se samjhaoge ki boy kya cheez hai blockchain? Okay, so see, blockchain samjhane se ke liye uh, I have ek cheez make sure karna padega ki eh, kisi like blockchain 
comes under this uh, super set of web three. Web three can like uh, so there is web one, web two, and then web three. So web three के लिए like web three के अंदर there is blockchain, there is NFTs and काफी सारी और चीजें. So उस blockchain समझाने के लिए पहले आपको make sure करना पड़ेगा कि सामने वाला बंदा था. Who as आप कह रहे हो जिसको कोई idea नहीं है, which is like a layman. So उसको पहले हम हमें web three explain करना पड़ेगा. And उसके बाद हमें like फिर then we'll go move on to blockchain. So first जैसे मैं बताता हूँ what is web three. So for example पहले web two के लिए let's web two web one web two web web two and web three. So web one क्या था web one was basically the static net. Static net में क्या था कि जैसे आपने देखा होगा PDFs होते हैं right? क्या लोग लाइन ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन ओनली वन वे था एंड इन वेब टू इट एज बिकम टू वे एंड बिफोर यू एक्सप्लेन फर्दर मैं अभी ऑफकोर्स आई सी आई आई कीप सींग दिस ऑल द टाइम बट हमारे कॉलेज में एक प्रोजेक्ट मिला था मेरे को दो महीने पहले विच वॉज अबाउट द मेटावर्स सो इन द मेटावर्स अलॉट ऑफ द वर्क वॉज अराउंड हाउ वेब थ्री एज अ टेक्नोलॉजी इज यू नो लीडिंग द मेटावर्स इंडस्ट्री सो वेब थ्री इन माई ओपिनियन इज बेसिकली ऑल अबाउट हाउ वी आर making and more immersive experience for all the viewers yeah. you know kaise aap aur zyada viewers ko uh, ek aisa platform de rahe hain jahan pe they feel they are completely submerged in what they want to do but the reason zishan bhai we we ask you so much in detail about blockchain and web3 is aapne bahut aapne hame bataya tha ki there was a company that was a blockchain company as a sponsor for manchester united and yeah, do you think that these blockchain companies uh they are going to uh, sponsor football teams or you know does it meet their marketing objectives or anything else i mean uh any company just uh, see uh, company run karne ke liye uh, company ko aapko jaisa market karte ho to uske liye aapko one day or the other uh, mainstream mein ghusna padta hai now football is like is like very popular around around the mm-hmm. absolutely right to jab hum मतलब इवन कोई ब्लॉकचेन कंपनी देखते हैं विच इन मैनचेस्टर यूनाइटेड केस इज टेजॉस तो उसने लाइक ही लाइक एनी वन हु लाइक जिसने भी उस टाइम पे वो प्रपोजल पुश फॉरवर्ड किया होगा यूनाइटेड को उसने वो देखा होगा लाइक द प्रॉमिस मैनचेस्टर यूनाइटेड लाइक द प्रॉमिस मैनचेस्टर यूनाइटेड हैड सो मैं उसके पहले भी यूनाइटेड के काफी स्पॉन्सर्स रहे हैं जैसे स्पॉन्सर्स में आपके एडिडास था देर वॉज नाइकी वंस देर वॉज शार्प तो वैसे ही सो अभी जैसे जैसे थोड़ा और हम मॉडर्न उसमें शिफ्ट हो रहे हैं मॉडर्न एरा में ब्लॉक चेन कंपनीज ने धीरे धीरे लाइक फुटबॉल मार्केट में लाइक एंट्री करना स्टार्ट किया सो टेजोस ने लाइक मार्केटिंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ना विद ऑब्वियसली अगर आप कोई ब्लॉक चेन कंपनी के हेड हो एंड आप उसको मार्केट कर रहे हो किसी फुटबॉल क्लब के साथ फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप उसको स्पॉन्सर कर तो उस उस केस में आप एक्सपेक्ट नहीं कर सकते कि वो लोग पूरा पूरा समझेंगे बट लाइक द पीपल और द फैंस वुड गेट टू नो कि हाँ ठीक है दिस इज अ कंपनी एंड वंस अगर वो क्या कहते हैं वंस दे पब्लिसाइज इट मोर लोगों को उसके बारे में ऑलरेडी एक आइडिया रहेगा कि लाइक ठीक है ये हम हमारी फुटबॉल टीम को सपोर्ट कर रहा था दिस कंपनी हाँ सो लाइक उनको एक आइडिया रहेगा सो वो लोग लाइक द नॉर्मल पीपल द नॉर्मल जनता जिनको आइडिया नहीं है और उनको अगर कभी चूज करना होगा तो वो उसको प्रेफर करेंगे जो लाइक जिनको जिस कंपनी को ऑलरेडी जानते हैं एज कम्पेयर लाइक अनदर कंपनी जिसको वो नहीं जानते हैं और, और वो भी लाइक like, अभी नया नया पब्लिसिटी करना स्टार्ट किया तो लाइक दिस इज वन 
like one of the ways in which you know blockchain companies can market themselves through football interesting anukar sir mm-hmm. i feel that uh, you know in our एंड जिशान भाई जैसे कि मैं पहले ही बोलने वाला था कि मैं अभी मुंबई में एक स्पोर्ट्स मैनेजमेंट का कोर्स कर रहा हूँ एक साल का विच इज ऑलमोस्ट आई हैव कम टू द एंड ऑफ इट एंड एंड आई एम जस्ट ग्लैड दैट आई कुड प्रोबेबली गो बैक टू दिल्ली सून जहाँ से हम हैं जहाँ से अनुकर्ष भाई है सो अनुकर सर आई विल जस्ट शेयर ऑन वट आई हैव लर्न ऑन स्पोर्ट्स मार्केटिंग बेसिकली देर आर फोर एंड आई एम श्योर जिशान भाई वुड ऑल्सो एग्री वेन आई से दिस दैट देर आर फोर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑन वाई ब्रांड्स आर are willing to market themselves through sports like the yeah. first one is visibility uh, the second one is brand awareness i mean yeah. the the difference between visibility and brand awareness is visibility is done by probably even a coca cola or uh, you know a thumbs up or a sprite may matlab coca cola and what's the main competitor pepsi yes of course pepsi coca cola pepsi everyone the keeps the one that doesn't like na coca cola yeah exactly and everyone keeps talking about anukar sir why do companies like pepsi and coca cola continue spending millions and millions of dollars on sports marketing because mm. no one's going to forget coca cola and pepsi now but there was a experiment done i am sure anukar sir you will find it in- interesting that if even the most established brands in the world stop doing their stop continuing their associations with sports through the advertising there is a high chance that their recall or their main target base their customer base their fan, mm-hmm. their you know consumer base are going to forget about them in some way or the other so that yeah. is something that coca cola and pepsi hold of high value now as i mentioned two uh, objectives visibility and brand awareness the third one is in increasing sales basically which is a very objective measurement ki bhai pehle agar 10 product bik rahe the abhi through our sports marketing thing we are getting 15 products and the last thing is uh, extending a new customer base so for example agar aap ek particular in india aap north india mein famous ho and you go and sponsor kerala blasters and it helps you uh, tap the kerala audience so this is a very interesting segment anukar sir that uh, i feel zishan bhai has has got a lot of uh, experience or expertise on but what i want to ask you anukar sir throughout our childhood even when we were young kids and when we did not understand the significance of sponsors very much we did associate the to the jerseys of different eras of favorite teams with the with their main sponsors like for example i remember a, U, a united fan would still say yaar tere paas a vodafone wali jersey hai abhi tak so that's such a long yeah. time so anugar sir there is a lot of recall value of sponsors even when we were young for fans Absolutely. not only football, but different sports mm-hmm. right Yeah, yeah, I totally agree on this man because uh, वही वाली बात है जैसे uh, I remember when I back when I was a kid Liverpool को Carlsberg sponsor करती थी and I used to say at home कि मुझे Carlsberg चाहिए मुझे Carlsberg चाहिए <laughs> when I was a kid <laughs> when I got to grow up I was like नहीं यार Carlsberg तो of course uh, is something which you wear which when you drink you don't tell uh, your folks about anyway <laughs> so uh, what I got to know uh, with time is that uh, Even like you raised a very interesting point, na? That these brands come from sports. Me, jati hai. But like we saw how, हम लोग अभी तक याद है कि जब रोनाल्डो वाला इंसिडेंट हुआ था कोको कोला वाला, तो अभी तक we can recall it because he, uh, he had a कोको कोला bottle. And I think brands do create that sensationalism with things which we attach themselves to. Because uh, like there's this very good uh, documentary on Netflix. It's called uh, uh, Pepsi vs My Jet. I don't know if yeah. you have watched it. So uh, in this. Yeah, so it's me. Ah, uh, it's there's a very interesting story about you know how Pepsi uh, said that if you have a certain number of Pepsi wrappers and us me, jo bhi points hoge, uske baad, ah, uh, you can get a jet for your own self. Of course, the guy who actually ended up claiming it, ah, uh, they finally did not ah uh, just a spoiler. <laughs> they finally did not give it to him. Ah, uh, but ah, uh, what I feel is that that sort of sensationalism creates a vibe. Like us time pe it became a thing in the media ki koi banda aisa kar raha hai and you know brands coca-cola was i think one of the first sponsors for fifa as uh, you know because usse pehle uh, fifa itni uh, woni hui thi brands were and all were not coming in but jo fifa ka bhi sepp blatter jo tha he was the guy who brought brands like coca-cola to them 
एंड इवेंचुअली दैट वॉज द रीजन की ही बिकेम द प्रेसिडेंट धीरे धीरे करके बिकॉज ही गॉट द फुट होल्ड ओवर फीफा दैट वे एंड ऑफकोर्स लाइक कमिंग बैक टू इट जीशान भाई यूनाइटेड की बात करते हैं ऑफकोर्स समथिंग दैट इज वेरी क्लोज टू यर हार्ट साइन में सीधा पॉइंट पर आऊंगा आई कम टू स्टेट मुद्दे की बात करूंगा बहुत आपकी क्या राय कि कासिमीरो कमिंग ऑन कमिंग ऑन बोर्ड लाइक एक पॉइंट ऐसा आया था कि ठीक uh, है उनका जो एक डीएमएफ uh, का वो इशू था वो सॉल्व हो गया था बट एट द सेम टाइम द डीएमएफ नीडेड अ सेंटर मिड जो लाइक like, जो कासिमीरो के साथ फिट बैठे दे uh, yeah. uh, क्या हुआ था कि लाइक uh, like, uh, जितने लाइक फ्रॉम अभी मैं जितने मैचेस हुए द प्रीवियस सीजन अ लॉट ऑफ लाइक बहुत से मिडफील्डर्स थे करेंटली आप आप लोग बताओ कौन कौन से मिडफील्डर्स हैं अभी यूनाइटेड में एरिक्सन है ब्रोनो फर्नांडेस है एरिक्सन ब्रोनो फर्नांडेस है ऑफ कोर्स मिशन माउंट है साबिरसर वाज देयर साबिरसर हैज नाउ गोन बैक हां ऑफ कोर्स लाइक तो दे हैव फ्रेड है दे हैव गॉट फ्रेड आई थिंक दे आर लुकिंग टू सेल हिम सो ऑफ कोर्स लाइक हैविंग प्लेयर्स लाइक हिम मतलब यूनाइटेड मतलब आपको लगता है मिशन माउंट कैन कॉम्प्लीमेंट कासिमीरो इन द मिडफील्ड या फिर आपको लगता है दे शुड हैव साइन फॉर मनेस नो नो सो आई टेल मैं आपको बता दूं हम सी फर्स्ट लाइक एक ही करके मिडफील्डर्स पे जाते हैं फर्स्ट जैसे आपने बोला ब्रूनो ना ब्रूनो इज समवन जो पूरी फील्ड तोड़ देता ही रन्स द एंटायर फील्ड एंड लाइक ही डज नॉट स्टे टू हिज पोजीशन ही रन्स द एंटायर फील्ड ये लाइक फ्रॉम या सो ड्यू टू दैट रीजन देयर माइट बी टाइम्स जस्ट जब कासिमीरो को पास करना होगा बॉल बट ड्यू टू लाइक उसके बाद फ्रेड का है फ्रेड की हिस्ट्री भी ऑल नो विद्रूव बट लाइक ही इम्प्रूव बट वही बात है कि इसका बहुत ऐसा वेरिएबल है कभी इम्प्रूव करता है कभी ही गोज बैक टू लाइक द लाइक द पर्सन लाइक द प्लेयर ही वॉज अंडर ओल ए सो अगेन वो बहुत ऐसा वेरिएबल सा है सो लाइक इन मिड फील्डर्स के साथ वी नीडेड सम वन जो हुट पोजिशन एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस लाइक नॉट जस्ट टेस्ट टू हिस्स पोजिशन बट ऑल्सो यू नो कीप द गेम गोइंग एंड अपना फॉर्म लूज लाइक अ प्रॉपर नंबर 8 जैसे मतलब इन समन हो गए बिग द लाइन हां लाइक अ प्रॉपर नंबर 8 तो बेसिकली गिव मी अ सेकंड बट आई मीन दैट्स अ वेरी फेयर पॉइंट मेड अनुकर्ष भाई बिकॉज़ अ एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ऑल यूनाइटेड फैंस डू मेंशन हाउ कहीं ना कहीं हमेशा देयर इज सम गैप अवेलेबल एंड आई एंड आई रिमेंबर अभी रिसेंटली इन दैट नाउ दैट दे आर डूइंग देयर प्री सीजन मैचेस वन ऑफ देम वेयर अगेंस्ट रियल मैड्रिड and uh, even uh, the coach eric ten hag mentioned how onana needs a lot of work with where he's currently playing for united so uh, yeah zishan bhai so like even with the casemiro there is a gap cause agar aap dekho casemiro gets a lot of red cards yeah so, like discipline issues yeah suspension uh, suspension issues bahut hote hain uske sath although casemiro is very good uh, usko regularly aap like you can play him on the field regularly but with this suspension issues again a gap aa jata hai in like in a substitute dmf jo ki again united ke paas like united lacks that right so, as a, like as a coach like uh, like united ke paas that as a like bhai jaise aapne bola ki there is uh, some gap left uh, somewhere or the other 
बिफोर कासेमीरो देयर वाज लाइक एक डीएमएफ की बहुत जरूरत थी जो आई गेस द लास्ट वन जो एक प्रॉपर डीएमएफ की तरह यूनाइटेड ने खेला था वाज मैटेज एंड आफ्टर मैटेज आई डोंट नी मैन मैन सी या या सो या वो एक चीज था एंड उसके बाद अभी जैसे जैसे डीएमएफ की प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हुई एक न्यू प्रॉब्लम राइज हो गई व्हिच वाज लाइक गेटिंग अ स्ट्राइकर क्योंकि मार्शल वाज गेटिंग इंजर्ड टू मच एंड इनकंसिस्टेंसी वाज आल्सो आई थिंक I think with uh, Anthony Marshall, and I feel Zishan by the fact that you mention about Casemiro is also in interesting because uh, I mm-hmm. I remember in the last transfer window, uh, मतलब twelve months ago, he mentioned yeah. how he is leaving. Uh, I mean, when he came from Real to Manchester United, and I think it was one of the journalists who like mentioned United are not even playing in the Champions League and. Casimir mm-hmm. answered saying the Champions League question mark in a way and then he said I have already won five of those I want new challenges yeah. so even though I'm not a United fan and I just came wearing red so that you feel nice about it but <laughs> and uh, I'm very and, even, <laughs> and even red is so Liverpool also but uh, I feel if you, I am a United fan. I am just happy to have personalities or characters like Casemiro in my team who are probably yeah. they they like new challenges and the they probably exactly the like the mentality is a big factor. So Zishan mm-hmm. by players like Casemiro do do bring in that experience and mm-hmm. Eric Ten Hag even though I am I don't know very much in detail about the kind of bus the kind of coach he is and how he goes about with his players. But he just feels like someone who can answer some of the problems yeah, for yeah. United in the season to come, don't you think, Zishan? Why? Yeah, actually, with the uh, Eric Ten Hag comes a lot of discipline. Yeah. He, like um, starting first of all, chal ek bar ab pichhe jaate hain. Let's go back to Ole. Now, yeah. now, like the like Ole was like Ole as a coach when he started was very good. Um, Like आपको याद होगा मैच जब से पीएसजी को बीट किया था चैंपियंस लीग में लिवरपूल को आई गेस फाइव जीरो हराया था ड्यूरिंग दी कोविड टाइम Uh, <laughs> नहीं 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 आई थिंक इट वाज अदर वे राउंड बट हां आई थिंक दे डिड बीट लिवरपूल इसमें मुझे याद है दैट टाइम हां दे डिफीटेड बिकॉज़ ऑफ या थ्री इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक I sorry to interrupt this, Shan. By it's almost like Anukash by saying, "Ha, we had pain, but it wasn't pain. It was pain from 5-0. So, yeah. And so, like, yeah. So, what happened with Ole was, his like starting me, Ole was really good. But what happened, like, the reason Ole failed was, like, what, uh, like, I have seen the Ole era. The like, I, I, what do you say? I believe there are two reasons. Is because uh, Ole failed at United. Although he was like, oh, uska Ole ka super goal in the Champions League, just because he won it, and all that. The the player history is very good, but what happened was, he two reasons. So in this case, Ole like Ole failed at United. First one was uh, making tough decisions. Hmm. If uh, because if you think about it, if you are the captain who is not performing very well and like a lot of mistakes, blunders, not just mistakes, he is making blunders. He is letting the ball go. उसके चक्कर में गोल्स हो जा रहे हैं सो उस केस में लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैड मैगवायर मैगवायर के इतने ब्लंडर्स के बाद भी ही डिड लाइक ही डिड मेक ब्रूनो कैप्टन बट दैट आल्सो एज लाइक एज अ सब्स्टिट्यूट व्हेन मैगवायर वाज नॉट अवेलेबल सो ओले के साथ ये हुआ था कि इवन अ प्लेयर इफ लाइक व्हेन रोनाल्डो केम रोनाल्डो लाइक गॉड लाइक रोनाल्डो बिकेम अ बिगर पर्सनालिटी देन व्हाट ओले वाज या In in the locker room, and that's the reason right. the entire team, like the entire team, went like, why went haywire. Right, ah, right, right. Mm-hmm. And that's so, a interesting fact, Zishan Bhai, that you put up because mm-hmm. Anukar sir, I I remember that uh, a lot of our classes here when when we learn about sports management and when we are uh, you know uh, given some information on how sports organizations are different from. all other kind of organizations in the yeah. world is the yeah. c is the ceo in a sports organization is like hardly known or it or at least one of the star players 
is hundred percent is hundred times more popular than the CEO, and there are a lot of multiple ego clashes or big personality clashes. So, Anukar sir, in your time of following football in United or even for Liverpool, have you ever found this kind of problem as a fan where you feel your team is not performing to the best possible? Uh, capacity because we have got certain players or certain At coaches point, who are not yeah. coherent. So please tell us yeah, more yeah. about that. Definitely. Uh, as much as I loved Jordan Henderson, he players like him, even Fabinho dropped off last season. Like we could see, like there's a reason Liverpool did not qualify for the Champions League this season because, like they, let's face it, I will be real about this that they. Uh, leveled down, like they uh, didn't uh, perform well enough. They didn't uh, buy a midfielder, which was paramount at that time last season. They uh, did not uh, uh, make the right changes in January either. And I think those sort of decisions on the on a bureaucratic level, those sort of decisions on a club level, internal club level. I think even uh, Klopp was very, uh, I would say, uh, what should I, what should I say, very uh, favorable when it came to certain players. You know, he had that tendency to keep them and and you know not change much. So I think sometimes uh, things have to fall apart for better things to happen. And I think uh, the same. That's what we have been seeing at United. That. Uh, down the last decade, it hasn't been that success, successful overall. But I think things are starting to move. Changes starting to be, uh, you know, uh, becoming in the right direction. But uh, one thing, Zishan, I have been wanting to ask for the last five ten minutes. I was thinking, is mm-hmm. the departure of David De Gea, like mm-hmm. as a United fan, as someone who has, who might have, you know, wanted uh, watched him growing up. What yeah, opinion you have about him? How are you so, thinking? Yeah, so. Uh, first, like I'll confirm this with you. David uh, was signed in 2012, I guess, 12 or 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somewhere so on that, yeah. At, yeah. So at that time, I became like my Nyan United fan. Banata. I was in class fifth or sixth at that time. So, mm-hmm. like, I have seen David since the very start, and like, uska, like uske, uh, David ka the performance he used to put up was like so good. Ki, uh, sometimes players were like afraid of you know uh, having De- De- on the field. However, uh, what happened was uh, due to a lack of substitute goalkeeper in United, like a good substitute goalkeeper, um, De- De- ko, like they over like they overused him a lot. He played brilliantly. Uh, there's no doubt in that. But sometimes what happened was uh, De- De- like Deya was overused, and hmm. wo ek, okay. like. I believe that is one of the reasons us, like uska at like at this age uske burnout ka. because he played literally all the matches uh leaving one or two he played all the matches uh for united um bahut kam matches aise the, jisme, you know, like Dea was not there or, and like up to like he has to go but uh, even though we like even though united with departure to one of its greatest goalkeepers um it's actually you know for the right it's uh, uh it's like they they needed to go because he was like he was so much as a um how shall i put this Wo bahut zyada yeah mm-hmm. and Absolutely. like yeah so and uske alawa, obviously um uh, even like when we had they there was talks there were talks to get uh, new goalkeepers uh we got tom eaton but uh, he like he was not a very very good success. So in like what uh, ten like the reason and like why I think it's good ki Dea was let go was because he Dea ko like if we like agar hun, usko hum let go ki hote, so again we would have been like over over using him in all the matches, even though we could get like uh, another goal, good goalkeeper. Right. Was, uh, even when we got Tom Hayton. Uh, there were talks that half of the matches would be played by Dea and the other half, like the other half number of matches would be played by Hilton. But uh, Dea ended up playing all the matches. So, wo ek, uh, so like uh, as uh, Anukash Bhai said, ki things have to fall off to you know uh, get better. So yeah. since since like as Dea like uh, went away, um, United uh, United ka pure goal, goalkeeper bachai nahi. There, there are sub- substitutes, no doubt. But there is no, uh, kya kate, no, as a the man competition for that matter. Yeah, huh? yeah exactly. So, at that place, I guess uh, Onana obviously Onana needs a lot of work, but um, 
he has been in ajax he has played the style um ten hag wants so with like with ten hag uh, ten hag at the helm of united the united team um i think you know, nana can be like a really good goalkeeper in the, in the coming years uh, coming years or coming seasons for united and i feel a lot of work to do yeah absolutely and i feel now as we approach the uh, concluding mm-hmm. parts of this episode i think uh, it's every single conversation with a united fan kind of uh, does not feel complete unless you ask him or her their time about how they felt uh, when ferguson was there in united and of course it's just great that zishan mentions how he feels ole uh, you know was in effective and he put out at least two very objective reasons to how he felt that uh, coaching did not work for united so before we wrap this up zishan bhai do tell us about because see most of the uh, and and i think i said this very recently yes of course anukash bhai when kirtan was with us and zishan bhai if you haven't heard any of our podcasts before so we just had a united fan a couple of episodes uh, ago called kirtan so we did ask him also where he's i think he's 18 or 19 years now but he's a united fan and i know most united fans in my uh, in my age group for example i mean i'm saying as if i'm much older than you guys i'm only 23 but they are fans because of the david beckham era because of the cristiano ronaldo era and uh, what ferguson did but guys like you who started following around 2012 13 is when ferguson just departed and just, how you know that. united were able to embark on another journey of uh, their own so you and i you know at the very beginning when we used to do this podcast i'm sure anukar sir will remember i would just keep brag keep bragging a lot about how i read 100 pages of the ferguson autobiography but i could never get beyond that so zishan bhai please tell us about how do you feel uh ferguson has impacted not only united but world football during his tenure as united's manager okay so like uh, uh, the first thing i would like to state is like uh, i've read the entire biography of ferguson oh um, wow okay yeah so uh, uske baad um, like ek aur point mein add karunga wo ek previous question se tha ki the like the bigger personality wala question jo tha hmm. so usme oh. there was this um, incident in the locker room um jisme kya hua tha ki apparently uh, david beckham was becoming a, a like a very big personality during the time ferguson was and apparent like i think he got a boot to his face when he started you know throwing tantrums in the locker room i like yeah. that's written in the book itself so i like usme even in the book it's written uh, and it's i guess it's written by ferguson himself that as soon as you think the player is bigger than the club you have to let go of him hmm okay that's what yeah. happened with ronaldo recently also right yeah that's what happened with ronaldo as well so i think imposing so, managers are much required if you want yeah. a team moving forward like ariton hag i think i think uh, even like uh, as a, if i say as a general football fan i think what i have seen with him is that he is very imposing and is very decisive something yeah, which previous decisive. united managers in the post ferguson yeah. era have lacked and that is something really good to see because the uh, tactics and are all are great but uh, that kind of mentality that kind of mindset in which you know he doesn't settle for less that is uh, very positive to see right yes so like even though um, maine united follow karne tab start kiya tha when ferguson just departed yeah. um, like i uh, i read the, about the entire team uh, when ferguson was there the treble winning team the 2007-8 ucl team which is like my favorite team when they, like uh, ferdinand bidic and like ronaldo Te- tevez rooney rooney also rooney is my favorite player so yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so like the bicycle uh, kick against manchester yeah, city in, against city in 2011 <laughs> i believe yeah yeah somewhere around that so uh yeah that's uh, actually one of my favorite like one of my favorite kicks in football so ha uh, so f- like ferguson impacted world football uh, because like the very first thing he i even like have you seen the movie jo sir alex so bani oh no i haven't seen no, I, i haven't seen it either what's the name um i guess uh, i'll just check i guess it was really ferguson in making or something uh, 
आर्मीज में होता है आपका हेयर लेंथ शुड भी दिस मच एंड ऑल दैट वो बाद yeah. में रिलैक्स हो गया था दैट हेयर थिंग बट स्टार्टिंग में इट वाज वेरी मच इंपोज्ड सो लाइक द यू नो द लाइक द पावर और यू नो द शेयर कमांड व्हिच फर्ग्यूसन कैरीड वाज समथिंग यू नो दैट्स व्हाट समथिंग व्हिच गेव हिम द कंट्रोल ऑफ ऑल द मिलियंस ऑफ फैंस एंड द टीम राइट देयर वर अ लॉट ऑफ बिग पर्सनालिटीज जैसे रोनाल्डो वाज लाइक नया नया रोनाल्डो वाज इन मेकिंग um there was zaruni there was tevez there was ferdinand although he came eventually but again bahut bade personalities the but un so like there was beckham like uh, ferguson ka i think sabse zyada ferguson ke tenure ka sabse important player and like the biggest player i'm saying this because ronaldo at united starting was not as big a player as for uh, as uh, beckham was when he was in united so who like, like even uh, controlling a big personality like beckham even though he throws a lot of tantrums or like as it's written in the book um it requires a lot of you know will power ki main yahi karunga main ye formation launga chahe tum jo kaho because uh, i know the game i have seen the game i know it absolutely just because yeah just because you have played uh, like a few matches as a, like i am at the helm of the team let me have full control And Makes sense, absolutely. Hmm. I I agree. I think that is the right thing you're talking about, and I think that is one of the reasons the hallmark of the Ferguson era, which you know United fans very fondly remember. Yeah. And, and this is something. Uske baad se, um, logon ne, you know, uh, other clubs started imposing. They got hmm. like, uske baad Chelsea got Mourinho, and yeah. uh, Guardiola came in. Yeah, Liverpool got Klopp. Yeah, Liverpool got Klopp. So it's like it's it's fair to say that uh, United and Ferguson were trend setters of their era, and then yeah, everyone exactly. around them tried to, uh, you know, follow what they had started in the Premier League. And I think that's mm-hmm. a, a beautiful a way to summarize the topic that we were talking yes. about. And uh, it's been overall uh, we are close to forty minutes now, which is great because I have absolutely enjoyed the conversation that has spanned yeah. not like only. Myself. yeah not only football but also business or sports and things like blockchain which i which i'm sure is a huge value add to all our uh, listeners and viewers anukar sir uh, we have had many united fans but of course zishan has brought a lot to the table for us today right absolutely it's been a pleasure having him thank you zishan for coming to the indie football podcast it was a pleasure having you and we hope for you know more youtube lives and you know more associations with you in the future thank you yes i would love to thank you zishan uh, we as anukar sir just mentioned we do look forward to having you across our social media platforms in some or the other way possible uh, yes. for everyone who have tuned us uh, tuned into us till here please do uh, follow us on instagram uh, subscribe to our content on youtube uh, we are also on twitter and we also post on linkedin so let us know what kind of content you want us to uh, put out more of until next week where we probably have another interesting guy like zishan uh, we say everyone good night and take care thank you